under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976, allowances made for the fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing nonprofit educational or personal use tips to balance in favor of fair. All topics are for entertainment purposes only. None of the information presented in this video or by B Girl TV should be taken as fact. Every situation is based on personal experience. You want to be the animal, but you don't know quite yet what weekend you want to come. Guess what? 2025 Martin Luther King Weekend is Rum and Brunch Music Festival here in Panama City. Four days, five nights of non-stop event, with the last event being none other than Rum and Brunch, which is the deluxe edition, which is a concert series, okay? We have performances by local artists as well as international dance hall artists, so you don't want to miss this event. If you are on a budget, but you may still want to go, don't worry, we got you covered. We have payment plans available. Click on www.rumandbrunch.com. Click where it says Rum and Brunch Weekend and read up about this amazing event that you don't want to miss. If you went to Rum and Brunch Weekend 2024, trust me, you don't want to miss 2025 because 2025, if you're a 90s baby, an 80s baby, and you was outside in 2000, <laughs> you definitely don't want to miss this event. If you had a chance to participate in Rum and Brunch 2024, well, guess what? 2025 will even be better. If you were the ones that were sitting home looking at all the fun that we were having, well, guess what? This is your opportunity to be here. So if you know to dance hall, reggae, soca music, this event is for you. See you guys there. Peace and love. Hi guys! <laughs> Welcome everybody. You know, I just did this impromptu live because I said, you know what? G is still at school right now, and I know for a fact. Oh God, my ring is going off right now. I know for a fact that if I literally wait to do a live later on today, it will not get done. Because Gia is not going to allow any of it. Because Gia runs my household. Gia runs me and she runs everybody that lives in this house. And everybody that lives in my parents' house. Anyway, thanks everyone for tuning in. If you are on um, IG, make your way down onto YouTube so that we, we can talk. Okay? Because you know what? This is always a very much... Uh, what's the word I, I want to I wanna use? Oh my God, this ring is getting on my nerves. Our lives is very much, very much um, interactive. And so when you guys are on IG, we cannot, we can't interact because I cannot see your comments all the time. I have to go flipping back and forth. And then the people that are in the live on YouTube cannot either. Um, hello, DJ Armand Gorilla. Oh my goodness, this is so annoying. My ring just keeps on going off. Very, very annoying. Anyway, guys, so update, major update. If you did not see my last video, the last video that I did on, um, what was it about? Hear me asking you guys what it was about. The last video that I did about um, the public hospital and the whole situation where there not being any vaccines and I couldn't get Gia a vaccine. Um, IG for old people, come on down to YouTube and switch. Like, seriously. Seriously, like no one uses IG like that no more. But I, you know, <sighs> so we got some people on IG, so you know we don't want to discriminate. But you know what? The the wave is YouTube, y'all. Y'all keep on slipping. Y'all keep on sleeping because guess what? When TikTok gets shut down, you guys are gonna be back right back here on YouTube. Okay. Thank you. Anyway, don't ask me why I'm so chipper. Okay, I have no idea why. But anyway, guys. Okay, so. We went back to the public hospital. So the last video that I did about public hospitals in Panama, um, I will link it in the description box for y'all, okay? Um, I will link it in the description box for you guys uh, so you guys can catch up, okay? That video still stands, y'all. That video still stands. So basically what happened was after I came back and Gia was not able to get her vaccine, I had spoke to the babysitter, a.k.a. Gia's other mother, because... Lucy has been around 
since a man was five. Like Lucy is at this point, she's my kid's second mom. Um, she literally b- basically was there for a man throughout his whole, I mean, it's about to be, is 14 now, right? About to be 15 soon. And so she was, she took care of a man since he was five. And now she's taking care of Gia. Okay. And Gia is like, Oh, Lucy, Lucy, Lucy. Sometimes I'm like, hello, I'm your mom, not Lucy. Anyway. Um, so Lucy, I told Lucy, yeah, you know, we went to go get the vaccine. They said they didn't have the vaccine, blah, 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 blah. Lucy then was like, you know what? I have a cousin that works there. We're going to call my cousin to see what is really going on. And then she made the phone call. The cousin told us, Hey, come on such and such date. We went on such and such date, And guess what? Gia got the vaccine. So take what you will with that information, but you know, Gia got her vaccine. Thank God she's only missing one more now, which they still don't have. Um, but it's all good. If I have to, I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. They told me to come back next month to see if they got the vaccine yet. So she was able to get two out of the three. Two out of the three. The third one she has not gotten yet because they don't have it yet. They told me to come back next month. But... God. And this is just a reality of the situation because I don't like to present, I, you know, okay. I am so honest and I'm such like a real, real life, get my, you know, I'm just such a real person that I love to give people the truth. Like I love to be totally transparent with you guys because I don't want anyone to feel like, okay, when, when they get here is a whole nother thing. And then another thing is I don't like to portray, cause you know, a lot of influencers, not saying that I'm an influencer, not saying that, I'm not saying that at all. So please do not come for me in the comments because y'all be, y'all be trying me, right? Um, A lot of influencers, they portray like this lifestyle that every single thing is perfect and, you know, nothing goes wrong. And then a lot of us are watching this, you know, um, and then we are living in this false sense of reality. When in reality, those that's not true. Like everything has its flaw. There's nothing in life. Perfect. Nothing. There's nothing in life that is perfect. No matter where you go in this world, you know, you're not, it's not going to be perfect. Even with relationships, you know, you may see people you're talking about couple goals, but you really don't know what be going on behind closed doors. And so what I try to do is I try to be as transparent as possible without, you know, putting out too much of my personal business out there. Um, but just to give you guys, you know, an insight, a real, a realistic, realistic insight on what life is like outside of the U S of a, okay. Is it more peaceful for me? Yes. It is a lot more peaceful. Does it have its trials and tribulations? Yes. God knows it has its trials and tribulations. I'm gonna give you all a prime example of Trump foolery that happened not once, but twice. Right. So I was in a parking lot. Okay. And you know, the parking spots in Panama are extremely small. I don't know if they were making, when they made these spots or when they were building these facilities or whatever, and they decided that they were going to make these parking spots. I am not sure if they, the person who was supposed to supervise the person that was doing it. I'm not sure that they really supervised or they really just thought that these were the measurements of an average car, but the parking spots are mad small. Yeah. Like it's so small. So especially like if you are like in some of these plazas, right? So anyway, I parked my car. I'm on the phone talking to my aunt on the phone or whatever. And I'm not even going to lie to you. I'm going to tell you, I really blacked out. Like, I really, this is before I saw, uh, you know, I became a changed woman. Um, So I'm taking Gia out the car. And so when I open up the car door, because the cars are so like, the spaces are so tight. When I opened the door, it bumped the car next to me. So I'm like, it, it wasn't like a boom, boom, but it just, you know, lightly tapped. Okay. And the woman rolls down her window and is like, you bumped my car. And so at first I was like, oh, you know, my bad. I'm sorry. Then I, then I was like, hold up. B-I-T-C-H, who the F do you think you talking to? I know. I know. 
I shouldn't have done it, but I did it, y'all. I told you I am a work in progress. I am a work in progress. I'm not about to sit up here and tell you guys that I'm a perfect person because I am not a perfect person, you know? And at that moment, when she came at me because I accidentally bumped her car with the door, not even realizing that she was in the car, I really lost it because I was like, who are you talking to, lady? Who, who, who are you talking to, lady? I said, B-I-T-C-H, you really thought like I did it on purpose? Obviously, this is all in Spanish, right? I was like, did you really think that I did it on purpose? Like, please, like, if you don't want anybody to bump your car, like, I'm fully aware that when I'm in a parking spot that my car is going to get bumped possibly. Like, I understand that those things are going to happen. If I don't want it to happen, I'm going to park someplace else where there's no other cars. But as long as I park, I am fully aware that these are things that's going to happen. Any home, so she ended up rolling up the window real quick. And I'm not telling you guys to do this because this is not good. Because, you know, the devil is rampant right now. So you really got to control yourself. But at that moment, at that moment, she caught me in cinco minutos de hueva song. Because I just, she caught me. Okay? She caught me. And so I just blacked on her like, yo, who the F are you talking to? Like, did, I did not do it on purpose. Anywho, after she tried to get buck with me, she rose up the window really, really fast because she realized that I was not the one, the two, or the three. And I was just like, wow. Like, and I was just so angry working myself up. Mind you guys, I'm a changed person. I'm a change. <laughs> I'm changed. I'm not like this person anymore, right? And so anyway, so that was like my first incident. And then this week I went to Subways, right? Once again, the parking spots are like this small. And so I go into the, I'm like going into my car. I open up the window, the door bounced the car next. Mind you, I parked in, because I know these people get really angry when any, you could like literally brush across the car like that. And they ready to call the goddamn stink because you brush across the car. So I go park where there's no car next to me, besides me. And I try my best because I just be really trying to avoid certain situations. Right. So I parked the car. There was no car to the left of me to the right. Cause it was a handicapped parking to the right. There was two separate parking, you know, and I figured if anybody pulls up, they'll maybe park at the next one. Right. No, they pulled up right next to me, right? So when I come out of, when I come out, what you said? Oh, uh, so when I go into, when I come out the car, so I'm giving the babysitter, I turn, so I open up the car door, the door's open. When I turn over, turn around like this to give the babysitter her Subway sandwich, the car hit the car next door. This fool gonna roll down the window and see it be, people be having, I don't know. I don't know why. Anyway, he rolls down the car window and was like, oh, you need to be careful because the car hit the door. And I was like, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? So now he's looking at me like I'm crazy. And I was like, if you don't want a car to hit you, do not park in the parking spot. Like, I am fully aware. And I was like, you know what? You got it, bro. I'm just going to go. Because I don't need not need my pressure to go up because y'all know I've been a, a very stressed out these past couple of weeks on the edge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to start trying to meditate. I swear I'm going to start meditating because at this point, if it seems like everything is just aggravating me. Things that I didn't even notice before, every little everything is like aggravating me right now. Don't worry. I'm just having a little bit of a chocolate with coconut. Yeah, it's like parking in New York. If you buy a new car and you park on the streets, it's gonna get scratches in the scratches in the paint by the next day. Exactly. I really don't be under I really don't understand. I get it, whatever, but people really act like you really did it on purpose. Like I purposely bust the door open so that it would hit your car. Like I did not do it on purpose. You obviously see me struggling. So you really roll down your window to be like, oh, you you tap the car with your car door. You need to be careful. It's not that deep. So now I try to park far, far away from everyone. Because I know that I'm already aggravated. I'm on I'm on I'm on edge. I 
I know somebody going to I know somebody in the comments after they see this video they're going to be talking crap. But anyway, part of the reason why I cut my hair off because I really felt I had a lot of negative energy on my head. Have anybody ever felt that way before? I'm sorry for snacking, y'all. But I need some energy. Thank you. And guess what? I didn't even curl it. I just literally washed it, slicked it down with some mousse, put my little thing, went under the dryer, and was like, let's go. I am so over combing my hair in the morning. I am so over everything. All right? I just want to just... Here go the ring camera again. I literally just want to wash and go. That's it. I'm actually going to go shorter. I have, and it's time to cut. Yes. It's like a sense of freedom. Like, once you chop off the hair, it just feel, you just feel so free. Like, I don't know. I just feel like a sense of freedom. At this point, I'm like, okay, let's go shorter. But I'm actually going to wait to go to the States to cut it shorter. Um, because there's a specific cut that I want. Somebody asked me. Where can I have a sleep study test done in Panama? Um, I would assume in Punta Pacifica. They have all the specialists there. She did. Oh, my goodness. Let me tell you. Oh, my God. I didn't realize how difficult it was to find someone to cut my hair. Let me tell you guys how I went to the salon, right? <sighs> Before, when I, when this idea came, I was like, I got to cut off my hair. I got to cut off my hair. I got to cut off my hair. I went to like so many different people trying to cut my hair and everybody was like, no, oh, I don't think I could do that. This, and I'm like, my goodness, like these are barbers. These are people that specialize in cut, but you see a black girl. And now all of a sudden you get scared. Like, oh no, I can't, I can't cut. I, I can't do that. And then it just dawned on me. I was like, wait a minute. I remember La Pana told me that she cuts hair. Let me call her and let me ask if she could do this for me. And you know, it worked out and it's so crazy because I posted my haircut on my store page. Cause you know, guys, I have to be a model for the store. You know, the products I sell in the store, the foam to stick it down, the paper, all that I sell in the store, right? And so I had to, I put it on the store page. So many females reach out to me like, oh my God, who cut your hair? Like I'm following these pages from the USA with, you know, girls having pixies and I can't find anybody in Panama to cut my hair. And these are black women. And it saddens me that we as black women have to go like go through that. Like I went to this guy just for him to like fix, you know, something because La Pana was busy. He gave me all the excuses in the world why he could not cut my hair. At the end of the day, I realized the reason why he couldn't cut the hair is because I'm, I'm not Cholita. Okay. My hair is not Cholita. I'm not a Cholita. You know, I'm a Chomba and you know, it is what it is. So hello, word of advice, people. If you are trying to come up with some type of business, somebody do short hair. Because at one point, there was only people that was doing, that didn't know how to do braids. Now braids is bombing right now, booming. The braiding industry in Panama is booming right now because at one point, there was nobody that knew how to do braids like American, like how they do the braids in America or even in Africa. And so now the braiding business is like, hello, booming. The mo we don't, at one point, we used to sell a whole bunch of human hair. We're not even selling human hair like that no more. We are not selling human hair like that no more. The, the hair that we are selling is all type of braiding hair. That's what everyone here is doing now. Now that I cut my hair, now everybody, now everybody want to cut their hair. So we need a stylist that is well-rounded, that can do style. Cause let me, I got like seven different hairstyles. Okay. I don't have one hairstylist for one thing. I have one hairstylist to braid my hair. 
I have another hairstylist to do like hairstyles. I have another hairstylist if I want to um, do like ponytails. I have another hairstylist for cuts. We need a hairstylist that that's just well-rounded in everything. Hairstyling is banned for foreigners, right? And what do you mean? Like people that do hair? Because one thing a black woman going to do, one thing a woman is going to do, she going to get her hair done. And we don't all be doing those blow dries and then flat iron. We don't, we don't do that. And we also don't want them stiff hairstyles from 1986, you know, with the stiff stuff, the whole curl. We want soft, okay? We want soft curls. We want, you know, feminine. We're not, we're not in the 1990s with the stiff, a whole bunch of stiff stuff and then the hard back curl. We're not doing that no more. We're not. Um, where did you, where did you get that information from? Hello, <laughs> not, not even pump it up. Cause I'll pump it up. I saw pump it up girls. So I'm not about to sit up here and talk shit about pump it up because, but pump it up is a little bit softer. I'm talking about the damn stiff stuff. Remember stiff stuff? We don't, we're not doing that no more. We want softness. Okay. With social media being so in like so huge and so global, there are so many people, especially here in Panama that are watching a lot of these styles from the States and all these different places. And they want that. I remember at one point, everybody wanted closures. Everybody wanted closures now. At one point, everybody wanted closures. They were buying their closures, whatever. Now people want pixies. This is the year of the pixies again. You know, history always repeats itself. I had this haircut years ago when a man was like two, three years old. I was rocking a shortcut. Then it went through the whole stage of, okay, everybody was natural. No, then it was, no. First it was the weaves. Then it was the short haircuts. Then it was the whole natural. Then it was braids. Then it was weaves again. And now we're in the bobs and the short haircuts. ISO plus still use the ISO plus. That part, girl, hello. Okay, we, we want soft. We want feminine. We don't want hard back hairstyles anymore. So, hello, if that's a great idea for, for anybody who's looking for that, looking for a, a, an idea, business idea, hairstylist, okay, we want soft. One of the legal sites had a list. I thought his house was on, was on there too. I have a sister-in-law who was asking and it said she could be an owner, but not a stylist. I may have to reread it wrong. Book a consultation with me. Yo, I just had um, a consultation today with somebody. Um, and I can't, I'm going to tell her, I'm going to email her and tell her to leave a review. And she was like, yo, this is why I really needed to do a consultation because Y'all need to understand there are certain things that I cannot talk about. Does she have a shop? She's working on it. People be, y'all be really trying to like backhand me. I swear, like people really be trying to backhand me. Y'all be trying to sneak me, sneak information from out of me. And I'm, if I am making a whole bunch of free videos for you, you know, take some time and watch those videos. Now, if you want to come and you want to get dive deeper, you need to pay for a consultation. The link is in my bio. Pay for a consultation. I'm telling you, it'll be worth it. So does she do house calls or do you have to go to her? Well, I went to her house. I don't know what her, um, I'm not sure what her like schedule is. I will have to leave the information. Leave her information and you guys can consult with her. I just know that I went there and she cut my hair and that was that. And then I washed my hair today. I got the little paper. I put the mousse down, you know, combed it down, tied it, sat under my hair dryer, which I got my hair dryer. I was going to get my hair dryer from Amazon, right? But then I was like, mm, I'm not going to get it from Amazon because... 
the amount of money that I'm going to have to pay once I get here, it didn't make any sense. Let me go and consultar um, with, let me consultar with the places where they sell it and see. And honestly, it was the same price that it was um, in on Amazon. And I didn't have to pay the shipping fee, so I got it from Panafoto. Yeah, y'all need to do that. If you guys want to get the real deal. And then y'all be booking 30-minute sessions, and then the sessions cut off on you, and then you're left with more questions because we get I get so deep into it. So, you know, at least do 45 minutes. I mean, you can do 30 minutes if you want, but at least do 45 minutes. Don't get cut off because everybody always gets cut off after 30 minutes. Girl, so this is not even a Nairobi moose. Even though, you know, I love me some Nairobi, this was um, the olive oil muse, um, moose. Because, you know, I sell it in the store. So that's what that is. Hello. You on here, I'm going to hurt you, girl. I have to curl my, curl, curl my hair. I'm not going anywhere, though. So I might just, you know, leave it slick like this because I'm not going anywhere this weekend. You know, this weekend is going to be a real chill weekend. You know, chill vibes. You know, I'm not doing much. You know, chill vibes. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. So, y'all. Hold on. I just seen, um, I just seen a message. I'm going to show y'all this message. Well, it's not even... Because this is what aggravates me, y'all. This is what aggravates me. Hold on. So I don't know if you guys follow politics or any pages that's like about what's going on in Panama. Y'all tell me what this is. Y'all tell me what this is. Okay, so there was a post. Oh, God, it's a Venezuelan. All right, so listen to this nonsense, y'all. So there is a diputada who was, okay, she was part of the whole mining situation. Do do you guys remember the whole mining situation? Do you guys remember the whole um, mining situation? So listen to this, right? So she is black. One of the people that signed off for the the mine to be approved to be in Panama with the whole thing when everybody got shot down, she is running again. And so someone posted a video of her. Um, oh my goodness. Hold on. That's my my son. That's my my baby father. Hold on, y'all. Amir's father. He ain't a baby no more. Um, yeah. So basically, someone posted a video um of her. I guess she was doing her election stuff, and someone screamed out that she's not gonna go, like she's not gonna, she's not gonna win, and then called her a negra de verga. Now, that really hurt my soul because I find that a lot of times when certain individuals that are not like Panamanian, when they argue with people, and sometimes they be they are Panamanians, a certain type of Panamanians, when they argue with a black person, they always like to say, oh, negra this, or negra, negra de la verga, or negra whatever, to, as an insult, right? So the person screams out, oh, um, you're not going to win Negra de la Verga. So I'm like, wow. And then they're going to say that racism does not exist because Panama is a crisol de raza. And then, so somebody else wrote, oh, this is not racism. This has to do with the mining. And so I was like, okay, but she was called a Negra de la, a negra de la Verga. Now, this has, to me, that's where the racism comes in because 
you cannot agree with somebody. I can say, oh, um, oh, you're not going to win, you jerk. But then you're going to say, oh, you're not going to win, you, depending on whatever color your skin is or whatever the case may be. That is racism. So now this guy I'm going to say, oh, they're saying it with love. Another person going to say, oh, you're confusing this Latin sarcasm with racism. I go to this man's page. He's Venezuelan. If you don't get the hell off my phone. That's like me saying, oh, you. Oh, I, I don't I'm not racist. I'm just saying that out of love. If you don't. Girl, he really put this. He really put this. Yo, I cannot believe this. And I'm like, I said, let me go to this man page. Let me go to this man page. Let me go to his page right now. Venezolano, Venezuelan, who lives in Panama. How you insulting somebody is, an, a term in, uh, is a term of endearment. And now I am not, you know, siding with this woman because I don't really like her either. But you out here like insult her, but what does her being black have to be have to do with anything? Thank you. I'm telling you, I I just I can't wrap my wrap my hand. If he don't get the hell out of my face, he going to say, well, it's not, it's not right. Don't say it's racism. I'm telling you, Spanish people be something else, y'all. Why am I going back and forth on online with a Venezuelan? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If I'm going to insult someone, I don't need to call the person or insult them by mentioning their race. If he don't get off my phone, if he don't get off my phone and stop playing with me right now. See, I, I tell you, I'm telling you, the devil is rampant. I'm trying to be peace. Ciao. Ciao. And the crazy thing, the crazy thing is that Venezuelans are known, and this is not me, you know, okay, this is not me, you know, this is not my personal opinion because I know some Venezuelans that are not like this. But if you go through and read the history of a lot of Venezuelans, a lot of countries do not want them in their country. They started in Trinidad. Trinidad did not want them in there. They went to Chile. They didn't want them there either. They were in Panama. They didn't want them in Panama neither. They, because they were insulting Panamanians also, calling them monkeys and all these different things. Um, you can You can Google this and read it yourself. It's not me. I didn't make it up. Okay. 
<laughs> this is it. So when I hear this man come and tell me this, and you're from Venezuela, I'm looking at you like, Mm-mm. don't tell me what racism is. Please do not. Do not. And I'm not, and I'm not, I'm the type of person, like, I'm like, okay, not everything is racism. Like, I will be the first one to be like, yo, that is, not everything is racism. Like, maybe somebody just don't like you, period, right? It don't have nothing to do with the color of your skin. But if you're going to sit up here and insult somebody and then insult them by telling them that they're a black piece of shit, how is that a word of endearment? How was that a word, how, how was that a word of endearment? See, I'm not trying to see. They over there trying to fight Guyana for their property right now. Okay. So they're not very likes around the world right now. And I think the only country that likes them is Russia. But I'm just, I'm going to just leave that right where it is because I don't want nobody to come for me and call me a racist. So. Yeah, Russia. You know, I keep on telling you guys, this is a safe space. This is a safe space, y'all. It just be the other people that are not like followers or, sub- or they don't subscribe to the channel. They just come in to pop in to see what information that they could get that be on here, like tearing me and ripping me to shred. But it is what it is. Like I, let me tell you something. A couple of years ago when they were in, they were in Panama, there was like a whole issue because one of them had made a whole video saying that they was leaving Panama because they didn't like Panamaians and they were monkeys and they were this and they were that and blah, 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 blah. And then the whole country was in uproar and was like, "Mm, no, 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 no. You got to get up out of here. And they weren't very, very, they weren't really like much here. Okay. So I'm confused. They over there causing war. With every, I don't know why this man is, is 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 even messaging me. A word of endearment. It's so crazy how Latin people are so brainwashed. Like, it's crazy to me how brainwashed Latin people are. Like, you're not going to call me a negative verga and I'm going to be like, oh, my God, you love me. No, you're not, because I'm going to tear you a new toe. But I'm also not about to sit up here and argue with ignorance either because arguing with ignorance is like talking to a brick wall. That part, that part, that part. That part. Let me tell you something. Like people be really, and I'm, and it usually always comes from. Like I don't understand how people would say certain things and then they don't think like it's like it's racist. Like 
I have heard, and this is okay. This is this is like off topic, kind of, but not really. There are women that are more clear skin with straighter hair, and they will have children with black men. The child will come out very dark with very coarse hair. The mothers will then, then turn around and say to the child, this is not alleged, this is things that I've seen. The mothers would then turn around and say to the child, oh no, she didn't get my type of hair. Her hair is so ugly. And I keep on telling her she has to do something with her hair. She has bad hair and this, that, and that. And I'm saying to myself, when you got involved with a black man, what did you think was going to happen? This woman, this woman in particular said, oh, she didn't get, she didn't get my color or get my hair, but my son on the other hand, yeah, he got, he, he got my hair, but her hair, it's horrible. Her hair is bad. And I can see the, the, cause she was a, a, a woman at this point. I can see, and I've also seen it done to little children too. I literally seen how it broke her and how she wanted to crawl back in, in like really into her shell because the mother just kept on literally talking about her color, talking about her hair, how ugly it was. And I was saying to myself, wow, like when you get involved with a black man, like what do you think is going to happen? You see the problem with a lot of Hispanic people, and I'm just being very honest with you, they do not think that they are black. What they think is black is like black, like this, like my phone. This is black. Okay. This is what they, so they will be like, oh, I'm not black. Very few people will admit to being black, but a lot of Hispanics do not consider them, can consider themselves black because they think this is black. Like you have to be this color to be considered black or like from Africa or like black from America or something like that. But they won't consider you. They don't consider themselves black. It's very weird. No, and I'm and I'm so serious. Like I've seen so many situations where, you know, being in the store where I've seen um women who have children with black men and their kids will come out with very tight curly hair and they're sitting up there talking about how bad the child's hair is and I'm just like So what makes this person hair bad in your who said that? Like who said like Textured hair is bad and straight hair is good. Who made that up? Like, where did that come from? I just need answers. I just want to know. I just, I really just want to know. Because there's been so many times where I have to, like, correct people and tell people, yo, don't say that. I'm like, don't say that. Like, that is not true. All right? It... Yo, people will come in for bra to get braids, right? This is how crazy this is. People will come in to get braids, like braids, get braids done. And they will say, oh, I don't want to get this hair because this hair is too hard. Not you trying to, not you trying to get box braids and you talking about this hair is hard. Explain somebody, explain to me because I don't get it. I don't understand. And the crazy thing is not everybody because I would go to the mall with my daughter and you guys know Gia has textured curly hair, right? And her hair, I would put her hair in a little Afro puff or whatever. And there are folks there that are like, oh my God, her hair is so beautiful. Today I sent her to school with her hair out for the first time because I usually do not send her with her with her hair in an Afro. I do not because of lice. Um, but today I was very lazy. I put a lot of grease in it. God, please, God, don't make this girl come home with no lice. But anyway, 
I was being lazy this morning and she was giving me a hard time. So I sent her to school with her little Afro. I put that ugly bow in her hair that she loves. Y'all know exactly what bow it is. Um, she loves this bow. I hate the bow, but she cried to put the bow in. So I put the bow in her hair, sent her to school. And the teacher was like, Oh my God, you look so cute with your hair. Meanwhile, other black people are like, well, not really black people, but you know what I'm trying to say. Yes, 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 yes. I just become, I'm so confused. Like, I just wish that I could educate the whole entire world because the ignorance just be really just like upsetting me. Like, it's upsetting me and my homegirls. <laughs> The ignorance is really upsetting me and my homegirls. Oh my God, I hate that bow. Y'all know I hate that bow. I don't even know where that bow came from, as a matter of fact. Like, I have no idea where that bow came from, but my girl be like, comb my hair with the stupid bow. Hate it. I bet you when I go pick up pick her up from school today, she is a hot mess. Dag, I knew somebody else was gonna die. Wow, Robert Cavalli passes away. OJ Simpson yesterday and the day before that was um DJ Mr. C. I said somebody is next. Roberto Cavalli. Wow. Not a, that part. Not everybody has self-love, but I wish a lot of it comes from not having self-love, especially when it comes to like physical attributes that we're born with, definitely has to do with not being educated. That's what I said yesterday. When they said OJ died, I literally commented and was like, okay, someone else is going to die because, you know, people die in threes. No, I got what you're trying to say. crazy see I hate I really don't like like IG like that because it just be jumping back and forth What? God. Jesus. Yeah. We got to go back to my dating in Panama um, series again because. I think I have a prospect. I think I have a prospect. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to talk about it too soon because it might just, you know, I don't want to jinx it. It's been like five minutes. So we, we don't know. You know, I really need to get into tw uh, Twitch because I, I'm actually streaming on Twitch. No idea what Twitch is like. Um, I literally just stream on the platform. I don't even know if I even have followers on Twitch. I don't even know because the videos don't even save on Twitch. I have no clue. Like, I, I don't know. But I know right now I'm streaming on sw Twitch. But I really need to get into Twitch. To me, it's really confusing. Like, when I go into it, I'm just like, what is this? Like, I don't, what happened? I don't get it. 
Y'all, don't get too excited because you know these men be doing the most, okay? Don't get too don't get too excited. Hey, LaShonza. Yes, I did see your email. I tried to email you back, but it kept bouncing back. I did send you, I tried to send you the link to book the consultation, but it bounced back. And thank you, boo. Yeah, girl, book that hour because guess what? You don't want to be like everybody else who booked 30 minutes and then it gets cut off. And it's like, y'all know I be busy. I literally like, okay, so you guys know I have tons of free information on YouTube, tons of information that's free on YouTube. I think I have over 300 videos on YouTube that you guys can check out, right? People will still message me in my DM, but you also got to take into consideration just like you're messaging me. There's a hundred other people messaging me the same thing. And I'm not going to be <clears throat> responding to people or a hundred people in depth articles and information about certain things that I already posted or certain things that, you know, I can't get into details with online. I'm not about this. A hundred other people asking me the same thing. So I'm like, can y'all just book a consultation? Cause I don't, I, I don't, I don't have time to be texting. Literally I'm taking, I took three days off because my body felt like weak. If you notice, I haven't really uploaded any blogs or anything really. I think I did like one video and one live stream after I told you guys that I was going to upload every single day, but my body literally was giving out. Like I was so tired. Went and I did some blood tests, found out my iron levels was low. Um, so I'm taking, um, iron liquid iron right now. Um, so I'm taking that and I'm just getting rest and like trying to drink my water. Your girl be tired. Like I really do a lot. Like from the morning, so this is what my schedule is like. Cause I don't want nobody to feel like, even though I shouldn't really care, but I don't want nobody to feel like, Oh, like I'm trying, I'm money hungry or anything like that. It's really not that the point is that I really, for me to sit down and take time to write out paragraphs and then answer your question when there's a hundred other people asking me the same question, we could just have a whole conversation and get this out of the way real quick. You could just write down whatever I have to say. If you don't want to go through the, go through it, but obviously you gotta, you gotta pay. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wake up in the morning. I got to get my kids ready for school. Well, Mary, I don't really got to get him ready for school because he does his own thing. But Gia, in the morning, she is exhausting. Gia, don't be, she does not, she does not want to brush her teeth. She wants to wear her hair the way she wants to wear her hair. She don't want to wear these type of shoes. I put her Crocs on. She'll kick off her Crocs because she want to wear some gold sandals. I don't got nothing to do with the uniform. She don't want to wear sneakers like her mom because she always wants to wear sandals. She don't want her hair in two ponytails. She wants it out with that stupid ugly bow or maybe she may want cornrows or maybe she wants it it's a process then i gotta give her breakfast pack her lunch gia does not go to lunch like a normal kid that eats sandwiches no gia does not eat sandwiches okay gia takes food to school gia takes rice and peas rice chicken like regular food to school yesterday i was so lazy i didn't have any food like that like that type of food so i sent chicken nuggets and fries my girl came back she ate one nugget and was like yeah i no, i don't want that gia eats food food okay we gotta pack her lunch make sure she eats her breakfast and then she she still wants milk you know, getting her to school, dealing with the traffic. Then after that, coming back home, you know, recording a video for you guys, editing videos. I'm also editing, doing other edits for other people that, you know, other entities editing their videos for them also. Um, and I still have to go to the store. I still got to help customers. Um, I do a lot. So this is why I tell you guys, please book a consultation because I am extremely busy and I'm trying to work it in. I'm trying to work it in for everybody. And the only way that I will cipher out people who are really, really serious is if unfortunately got to pay. I'm sorry. I wish I could help the world, but trust me, I don't have time to sit back and text 
a hundred people back the same questions asking me about things that it's already available on the internet. And then if you really want to get real in depth, I can't mention those things on my social media platform. I cannot because number one, y'all would come for me if I was really, really, I mean, I'm honest, but I, if I was like really blunt, honest, and you can ask anybody who have, who has ever booked me for a consultation, how honest I get, they will tell you if I said, or if I mentioned some of the things that they know in our private sessions, you guys will ban me or not even ban me. Y'all will come for me or tell me I was something. Y'all would say something because there's always someone that got something to say. Yes. Yeah, so basically when you book, when you book it, um, you have the option to write down all your questions or you could just email me your questions. So I know more or less what you want to talk about. Um, so you could do that and then just give a good email. That's not going to bounce back because your email bounce back. Girl, Gia is an eater. Gia, <laughs> every Sunday Gia is at my mother's house. Cause you know, on Sundays, you know, my mom does, and this has been our routine for years, right? Um, where we go to my mom's house and we eat Sunday dinner as a family. I know some people think that's corny, but we still do it. We still do it. We still do family time. My parents are getting older. They're not going to be around forever. And like Amir says, I need to spend all the time I have with my grandparents because tomorrow is not a promise. Not saying that they're going to go tomorrow, but, you know, life is very short. You just never know. So. On Sunday, we do Sunday dinners. My mom be throwing down in the kitchen. And Gia, my girl eats. Thank you for understanding. Hey, girl. Oh, Jay, you know, I sent some customers your way. I don't know if they contacted you, but I did give you a phone number. I don't know what you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. My son loves my dad. Like he loves, 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 loves my dad. My dad, we live like 15 minutes away from each other. And sometimes I don't feel like going to my parents' house because I'm just tired. Like I'll go to work after having a long day, a long, long, long day. And I will be like, okay, I'm not going to my dad's house today. And he will be so upset. But I'll be like, literally, I am exhausted because I know that I get off of work at a certain time. By the time I pick the kids up, go to my parents' house. I'm not leaving my parents' house till 10 o'clock. By the time I get home and get everybody ready for bed and I go to sleep, it's 12 o'clock midnight to wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning the next day. I'm tired. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. They get on my nerves sometimes, but I love them. <laughs> Uh huh. What 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 did I miss? Did I miss something? Oh my gosh, Digicel is just messaging me every second because I have to change over my phone. I'm gonna do that tomorrow because the time is winding down. I really, I mean, I, I if I really sit down and like focus, I'm sure I would understand how Twitch works. It's just that I just really just Twitch is not my thing. I'm a YouTube person. Did they call you, Jay?
look, it's so crazy. Let's see. My internet is acting up, I guess. Look how many people are asking about the cuts. This That goes to show you how we need, we literally need like people to style black hair. Like Panama needs black hair care. Like, and I don't mean just the braids. I mean like on all levels. Because not every woman wants to wear her hair natural. Some women want to wear their hair relaxed. Some women want to do silk press. Some women want to do that. We need people to be able to take care of all types of hair. TikTok will eventually be like Twitch, the platform. It is very versatile. Amazon put work in on this one. Um, do you think that TikTok is going to be around? Because the American government is really putting pressure on TikTok to sell or ban. That's why I really didn't want to put like too much effort into TikTok. Like for TikTok, I just post whatever I post and I just move on. Because yeah, TikTok, it's a little scary because you just don't know what's going to happen. Oh, great. Good to know. Good to know. Now, do you know a Panama City has private salon suits that you can be one on one with your client instead of for? Let me tell you guys, no, they do not. There's only one person that I know that does it, and he's a barber where he has a VIP area in his in his barber in his barber shop. But this guy is way ahead of his time. Like this guy has family in the states. And he travels. And that's what I, this, that's a thing. Like, I always feel like traveling, and I know that everybody cannot afford to travel, right? I get it. But I feel like when people travel outside, they are very versed. You know what I mean? They have um, fresh perspective on certain things versus someone who has never traveled. And so their reality is really just what they see in front of them. They can't see beyond that. Um, so that's why a lot of those businesses do really well because they're providing a new experience, something different, something that someone else <coughs> here isn't doing. Now, at first, it's going to be kind of hard because it's like, oh, yeah, you know, people don't know about it. But if you're willing to, like, you know, ride the wave, if you are willing to introduce new things to people and you are not scared because everybody knows when you first open up, open up a business, the first five years of you opening up the business is really nothing. You know what I'm saying? You really, you're not making any money when you first start a business. Literally, you're not. Um, but if you're really, if you're willing to ride the wave and really like, you know, put in that work, there are so many innovative ideas that would actually work out for you in the long run. Like this guy, he opened up a barbershop. His barbershop is so, like just the way the barbershop looks, you're actually giving people an experience. Like it's just not a regular barbershop. The average the average um, cut in Panama is like $2, $3, $5 is the average. He's charging like $10 and then he does like add-ons. So if you want a facial massage, if you want this, if you want this. And people are paying for it because they're paying for an experience. Like don't matter where you are in the world, people want to be treated like VIP. People want that VIP experience. People want that experience. If you are able to give people that experience, people would pay for it. It's just really like closed-minded people 
um, that are like, oh no, I'm not going to pay for that. Or they feel like, oh, well, the average person isn't going to pay for that. Another thing that I find that is very important for a lot of people that actually want to open up a business and you are catering to majority Panamanian people do know that the way Panama works is the 15th and the 30th of every month because that's when they get paid and when they get their bonus, which is considered a decimal. Oh, got you. Um, I, you know what? I did open up account with those people with fan base. Um, I don't know what happened. I think I sh shut it down. I don't know. I'm going to, or was, is it something that you have to pay for? I'm not sure what happened. See, I did have it and I deleted it. I don't remember why I deleted it though. Can't remember why. Um, I'll try it out and see y'all. I'm, I'm going to try that again. I know for a fact I did download it before. I don't know what happened, um, why I deleted it off my phone, um, but I'll try again and see. Can you like stream on there? Like what's, what's that? All these social media platforms are stressing me out because there's so much to keep up with. See, this is why I like StreamYard. Okay, guys. So if you guys are interested in streaming, click the link in my description box and join StreamYard. And I, the re and I have the pay plan. The reason why I have the pay, the play, the pay plan is because I'm able to do so much with the, with the pay plan. For example, I can put up this on the screen. Okay, travel to Panama City, guys. Don't forget, MLK weekend is lit. Martin Luther King weekend. Um, yeah. Hello. Um, and so that's why I, I pay for the, the StreamYard plan um, because I'm able to make this live streams a lot more interactive for you guys. And so I pay for it. Um but StreamYard allows you to stream on all different platforms. Like I can stream on Facebook at the same time. I can stream. I can at the same time while I'm streaming here. I can stream on tw um, Twitter, which is X. Um, what is the other YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook? Um, so it allows you to stream. Because before this, I was like one phone here. Um, with one app open and then this one was open, but StreamYard allows me to do it all on one platform. So that's the reason why I use why I use StreamYard. Like I love StreamYard. It's worth it. It is worth it, worth it, worth it. Like if you are serious about streaming, um, trust me. Like get yourself StreamYard. Get you StreamYard. I'm telling you, it's worth it. Yes, people will pay for certain experiences. Comfort, common environment, always at the top of the lake. That's what I'm saying. Like, people will pay for it. Um, but you can't be scared. Scared money don't make no money. If I ever go broke, I'm going to take you. Who sing that song? <laughs> I am so Brooklyn.
I'm like a human jukebox. Like you ever been in a place and then like for me, like I could be having a conversation with somebody and then I, a song will come up in my head and I just bust out singing a song. Just, I, I, I'm just, my brain is just crazy. And another thing that StreamYard has done, and I'm going to tell you guys this, you're able, they're able to, you know, so you know how YouTube, not YouTube, Instagram works with like reels. Um, StreamYard allow, it like repurposes your video for you. So it'll choose the height, the height of your videos and turn it into a reel for you. So you don't have to like go in and look for the clips and clip it and send it because before before this, what I used to do is I would have to go screen record, go look for the section. After I screen record the section, then 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 crop it, then put it into another app. And then after I put it in this other app, then I have to do this. And then I have to, it was just way too much work. Like StreamYard simplifies all of that for me. I have to check out Restream and see what that's like. But for right now, I really, really love StreamYard. Like I think anybody who wants to take content creating seriously, anyone who's interested in doing a podcast, anyone who's interested in any of that stuff, I would always suggest StreamYard. Like I got the highest plan. They got a $20 plan, I think it is, but I got the highest one, which is like 50 something dollars a month. But let me tell you something. It is worth every penny. It is worth it. And I'm telling you that it is worth it. That you could click the link in my bio. It is there. Okay. Just click the link. Click the link in my bio. I'm telling you. Exactly. Exactly. Because who got time? Like, who got... Yo, I'm telling you guys, like, I wish... I, if I was a millionaire, I would be able to hire an assistant to do all these things. But I'm I'm, I'm literally a one-woman show. I'm literally the the editor... I'm the chief, the, the the chief and the bottle washer. I am the chief and the buckle washer, like my mother would say. Chief Indian and buckle washer. Like I literally am the person, I record myself, I edit my videos myself, I create flyers myself, I'm my own marketing manager, I'm my own promoter. Literally, I do all of this by myself. I do not have a team. And I, if you didn't see the last video, the last live I did, check that out. It's a reason why I'm a one man, a one woman show. I, I don't like headaches. I do not like headaches. I'd rather be my own headache than have to blame somebody else for creating me. Like, I don't need nobody else creating headaches for me. It was destiny, like Budger said. <sighs> anyway, my love bugs. Okay, we, how long we been on this live already? It's been an hour. Wow, an hour and 16 minutes. So I've given you guys an hour of 60 minutes of my time. And you guys have given me an hour and 60 minutes of your time. And so I appreciate it. I love when you guys come in, in, in here and you interact with me. I love when you guys watch this on the replay and you leave comments. 
everybody in here should have liked this video already. So make sure that this video is liked. Make sure you like the video before you leave. Um, I have to go pick up my picnic in because my picnic, she's in school right now. And um, I got to go pick her up and I don't got no gas. So <laughs> I need to go get gas before I pick her up because I'm going to be in that long uh, line. You know, the pickup line for, the, for these kids. You know what I'm talking about? Because they do have that here. Okay, you know, I told you guys it's been five minutes. It's only been five minutes. So let it let it simmer down a little bit. Let's see if I don't get tired of him because, you know, I am a Gemini. And, you know, us Geminis, we get tired of people really, really quickly. Um, so let's just see. Let's just see how this plays out. Let's see how this plays out. Um, but I will keep you guys informed because <sighs> anyway, anywho, so yeah, make sure you guys are liking, make sure you guys are subscribing. Please do not DM me with a million and one questions about um, Panama. Please book a consultation. And I say this in the most humblest, respectable way ever. Please. Okay. Because if you DM me, you know, my Instagram, I just show, you know, fun stuff. I don't want to talk about Panama all day long. I don't want to talk about Panama all day long. Yes, I live here. Yes, I do. Um, but there's more to me besides Panama. So I kind of want to keep it a little bit separate. So if you are interested in anything that has to do with me explaining any other thing, book a consultation. Yes, girl, that mommy, that mommy pickup drive through line is crazy. It, ex <laughs> it exists here too. It exists here. So I need to get there. Okay. I literally, when I go there, I have to prepare myself mentally. Like I'm listening to like, I have my little podcast up listening to my podcast because it's, it's exhausting. It, it's, it is exhausting. Okay. Anyway, guys, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for always tuning in to my video. You guys are freaking awesome. Awesome, awesome, and I may do a live tomorrow. We'll see. Um, we'll see how I feel. Um, so yeah, so we'll I'll be back checking you out then. Anyway, guys, thank you always for tuning into my video. Peace and love.